Hello guys and welcome to our flat top sampling experiment. This is the modulator section of the flat top sampling experiment. This is the block diagram. So we will be multiplying a message signal and a carrier signal and the output waveform will be propagated through a sample and hold circuit. Now the sample and hold circuit will give us the pulse amplitude modulation which is the natural sampling of, a, of the output waveform. Now the output waveform will be propagated through the chopper section of the circuit which will even out the amplitudes of the waveform and we will finally get our flat top samples as the output from the circuit. Now this is the diagram of the flat top sampling circuit, the modulator section. In the modulator section we will be using the following components. We have transistors which are which which are SL100 and SK100 and an IC unit which is mu A741. Now in in our transistor in the SL100 this is the emitter base collector and in our SK100 similarly we have an emitter base collector. Now in our mu A741 uh, one our uh, pins one and five will be the offset inputs, two and three, that is over here, two and three will give us, yeah, one, uh, two and three will give us the inputs, the sixth pin will give us the output and we will be providing power supply at four and seven, uh, four is the negative terminal and seven will be the positive terminal. Okay. So now we will move on to the modulator section of the circuit. So we will provide our sine wave input at pin 3 of IC mu A741 and the IC acts as a buffer. So the sine wave is propagated through the buffer and we introduce our carrier wave which is a square wave with a suitable frequency and in this section is our sample and hold section of the circuit which comprises of an SL100 transistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. This sample and hold circuit will help us naturally sample the waveform which is multiplied which is our sine wave and our square wave. Now the final output waveform that we get here is propagated through to our next IC mu A741 now the waveform is inputted at pin 3 of the next IC which acts as a buffer as again. And finally we'll get our out we'll get our flat top samples at over here. This is our chopper section of the circuit our, which comprises of the SK100. This part of the section will help us even out the amplitudes and finally get our flat top sample outputs at the load resistor 1 kilo. Now we shall view the hardware section of our modulator part of the circuit. So uh, this is the modulator section of the flat top sampling experiment. This is our SL100 transistor. This is our SK100 transistor. We have our mu A741 ICs, the 0.1 microfarad capacitor, our 10k ohm resistors. So now we will be introducing our message signal with the help of the waveform generator. We'll be introducing our waveform generator, uh, we'll be introducing the sine wave through channel 1, which the input will be provided over here. And in channel 2, we'll be providing our square wave waveform and we'll be inputting it into the circuit over here. Now it'll go through the uh, go through the process as explained by the block diagram and we finally get our output at the digital oscilloscope. This is our input which is the sine wave and this is our naturally sampled output. So the ICs will be provided with the power supply which is of 12 volts. So now uh, after we've finished the sample and hold section of our circuit where we've viewed our naturally sampled waveform which is the waveform that is sampled, naturally sampled after multiplying the message and carrier signal we will pass it through the we will pass it 
through the chopper section of the circuit where the naturally sampled waveform will give us our output over here which is going to be our flat top samples. So now we shall view our output which is observed on the digital oscilloscope. So this is our naturally sampled waveform and after passing it through the chopper circuit we will observe the flat top sampling version at the load 1 kilo ohm resistor. Okay guys, now we will do the demodulator section part of the flat top sampling experiment. So we will provide an input which are our flat top samples which we are getting from our modulator section of the output. So our input to the demodulator section part is the flat top samples we have obtained from again the modulator section which is our flat top samples. We will pass these flat top samples through a second order Chebyshev low pass filter and we will finally obtain our demodulated output waveform which is the same as the input which we have given which is our message signal. Okay, now we shall move on to the circuit. So in our circuit, this is our demodulator section part of the flat top experiment. The components used is an IC mu A741. Again, explained similarly in the previous section, we have described our, the pins of the mu A741. So here is our input where we will be providing the flat top samples as our input. Next we have our IC first order, our RC second order and this entire section will comprise of our Chebyshev second order low pass filter. So once the flat top samples are propagated through this filter, we will obtain our demodulated output. Now we will move on to the hardware section of the demodulator part in our flat top sampling experiment. This is our demodulator section of the flat top sampling experiment. This is the mu A741. We have our 3.3 kilo ohm resistors, our capacitors which are of 0.1 microfarad and our 10 kilo ohm resistors. So this is our first order phase, this is our second order phase and the whole thing together will comprise of the Chebyshev second order low pass filter. So we will be providing our input which is our flat top samples, flat top samples from the modulator section. Here is the input, this wire will provide the flat top samples as the input over here at this section of the circuit. Now once this waveform is propagated through this filter, we will obtain our output over here. This will give us a sine waveform at the digital oscilloscope which we have obtained through the filter. Okay, now guys, now that we are done explaining the modulator and demodulator section of our flat top sampling, we will observe the following cases when we vary our FS with respect to our FM. So, now let us consider the types of sampling. We have undersampling, critical sampling and oversampling. Our condition for undersampling is FS less than 2FM and our critical sampling conditioning condition is FS is equal to 2FM and our oversampling condition is FS is greater than 2FM. So we will first observe what happens when we vary FS such that FS is less than 2FM. So the output obtained at our digital oscilloscope once we vary our FS lesser than 2FM will be this is the output form, waveform obtained at our digital os oscilloscope when we undersample the waveform. Now we shall move on to our critical sampling. Our critical sampling condition is that FS is equal to 2FM. Once we obtain that, the output obtained at the from the once introduced by the waveform generator, the output obtained at the digital oscilloscope will be this. Finally, finally, once we once we change the waveforms to satisfy the condition for oversampling, that is, FS is greater than 2 FM, we will get at the digital oscilloscope a very fine sine wave. I will say that this is the output that we have obtained at our uh, uh, 
output obtained at the demodulator section. So we'd like to conclude from this experiment that oversampling is the practical scenario waveform that is used in everyday life. Similarly, we can see it implemented here in our digital oscilloscope as well, uh, where 200 megahertz is the frequency used and the 2 giga oh, this thing is used, sampling where per sampling per second, which is obtained by oversampling. So again, to reiterate, we have got a fine sine waveform. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed our explanation of the flat top sampling experiment. Please join us again in our future endeavors for such experiments at the lab.